Hello everyone! This will be a video of the Wheelock Exceder Horn Strobe. That, yes, that's right, it is the Wheelock Exceder Horn Strobe. And today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and this is Fire Alarm Test 46. And yes, I am making an extra video for you to celebrate the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday because I wanted to do this for you guys, and here it is. Fire alarm test number 46. We're going to be testing the Wheelock Exceder HS Horn Strobe. And I have it hooked up to my power supply, and it's ready to go. And, and yes, and I have the camera sitting on a tripod. It's a small tripod that's sitting on my desk, and I know it's really, really close to the alarm, but... Hopefully the alarm won't will not damage the mic. And it shouldn't be too bad because I also have hearing protection on and the Wheelock Exceder is going to be set for code 3 low. And there will be a lights off part of the test and a pull station included in part of the test as well. So anyways, let's let's set this thing off. Let's get the power supply plugged in and here we go. Three, two. Yeah, ignore the phone ringing right next to me. Stafford County Public Schools. Okay. That was that was Stafford County Public Schools was calling. Okay. So let's plug in the Wheelock Exceder. Sound it off in three, two, one. Let's turn off the lights. Okay, let's unplug it. Whoops. <laughs> and this thing doesn't want to stand up. <laughs> That's what happens when you put weight on the power supply. But And by the way, the strobe was set for a 75 candela. I forgot to mention that in the video. But anyways, let's go on to the next part of the test. We already did the lights off part of the test, both the horn and strobe together, and and that would get the point across. Okay, on to the next part. Now to activate this alarm with the pull station, we're gonna be we're gonna be using the BG12L. And normally you would find um, modern Wheelock devices with BG12Ls, like any other type of brand of BG12s, like like with an addressable system like Johnson Control or something like that or Gamewell or FCI or Notifier or, um, I don't I wouldn't say FCI but Notifier or Firelight but this is a Firelight brand but um, if, if they find an old pole station it would probably be replaced with one of these things so anyways this is just a basic setup and a test demo and all that stuff so let's go ahead and give it a pull so you guys ready push in and pull down three two one
know this thing doesn't want to stand up because it's leaning up against my tilted keyboard and for a back wall, but I'm sorry, it's, it'll just have to do for now. So anyways, let's give it one more pull. Push in, pull down. Huh, didn't, didn't it close all the way? Huh. Oh my gosh, the wire came loose. Oh well, I guess that's enough for right now, guys. I'm sorry I had to cut the video short because, um, yeah, because my pull station is really giving up on me because when I first got the pull station, I accidentally, uh, cut this wire right here so it's not making very good contact with it. Well, that could be resoldered or I can just get another one of these uh, pole stations right here, but I'll probably get another one soon, but not right now at the moment because um, I'm just trying to save a little money, but um, anyways guys, I figured I would give you guys the proper ending, and I hope you enjoyed this Wheelock HS Exceder horn strobe and and I really really enjoyed making these fire alarm demo series with you guys and I figured at the end of this video I would give you the proper ending. So anyways guys, I hope hopefully you enjoyed it. Um Sorry, that's that's one of the dogs rattling it rattling their cage upstairs so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this wheelock exceder horn strobe and that will be it so thank you all for watching and hope please give this video a thumbs up and please like and subscribe anyways that's it